The bird's air sacs are connected to its lungs, and during flight, air flows through them. This arrangement rapidly feeds the bird's body tissues with life-supporting oxygen while keeping it light in the air. All birds are amazing. You know, they have a, a, a system of breathing that's not found in any other creature. The bird lung uh, is a special double tied system where you can oxygenate air both inhaling and exhaling. Unlike our lungs or the lungs of any other creature, the bird lung has back doors. And it turns out that this is important. Birds do not change the shape of their chest cavity when they breathe. You know, if you saw a bird just land from a thousand mile migration, just, just landed, would you see the chest heave as he breathed? They are stone still, no matter how hard they've been flying, you think, how do they breathe? Turns out that the air is moved through the bird much like a bellows for a fire. These air bags between the muscles, and as the bird flies, as it walks, it's, it's moving the air. Such wonderful creatures God made in birds. All of these engineering marvels combine for efficient flight and show perfect foresight in the creation of birds. One of the uh, marvels of birds is their ability to migrate long distances. The Arctic Tern makes it all the way from areas near the North Pole all the way down to the South Pole and back uh, every year. Now, now people can do that in, in an airplane. Well, you've perhaps looked into the cockpit of an airplane, all those switches and dials and levers and controls. And then you have to have ground control to tell the pilot where he's going. And all of that is packed into one teeny part of a bird's brain. Next time somebody calls you a bird brain, say why, thank you. The Lord has equipped each bird uniquely for his role in life. In the service of man, each species of bird has a special area of patrol. Many help by controlling insects. Others remove the carcasses. The finch family is a great weed seed destroyer. The owl and the hawk keep the rodents in check. The sandpiper combs the beaches. The water bird maintains the proper balance in fish population, the heron in frog and snake control. With graceful proportions, amazing aerodynamic abilities, and practical functions, each bird is a testimony to God's wisdom and love. While God provides marvelously for birds, Remember that Jesus assures us that we are of more value than many sparrows. The hummingbird is a marvel of agility and grace. The smallest birds they take their name from the humming sound made by their rapid wing beats. Darting from flower to flower, the hummer poises in midair. He has come to sip sweet nectar. The hummingbird has been wonderfully designed to do this. God gave it a small body to move with ease about the flowers a long, needle-like bill to probe deeply into the flower cup, and a specialized tongue ideal for extracting nectar. God also gave it remarkably strong wings and a sturdy breastbone, which enabled the bird to stop in mid-air and even fly backwards and sideways with ease. Of course, all the hummingbird's features, long bill, special tongue, unique rapid wing beat, would have to work together from the beginning in order for it to be able to gather its energy food and thereby survive. Though the wings of most birds bend at the shoulder, elbow, and wrist, the hummingbird chiefly uses the shoulder. Like a helicopter, it can rise directly upward. The creator's design, however, makes it possible to swivel in all directions is much more efficient and far more agile than any man-made flying machine.
The Hummer's capabilities are phenomenal. When hovering, his wings beat 50 times a second. When speeding straight away, up to 80 times. Its heart beats 21 times in the same second. These tiny little birds have a metabolic rate that just is almost unimaginable. Their heartbeat is so fast it gets into the range of audible sound. Uh, you think of these little hummers that fly, they, they migrate over hundreds of miles. The reserve of food to make this trip, uh, an error of uh, hundreds of a gram <laughs> in nutrients could mean not making the trip. Uh, birds alone would be absolute compelling evidence for a marvelous creator. The hummingbird's nest is a masterpiece of art. The female is the artist. She uses fern fuzz, dandelion seed down, and other plant felts. The exterior is adorned with lichens and fastened with spider webbing. The interior is lined with the softest down available. No one teaches her the art of nest building. It is a God-given ability. The male hummingbird's coloring has no rival in the bird kingdom. The magnificent hummingbird, the broad-tailed, the blue-throated, and Costa's hummingbird are among the more than 300 stunning species. The iridescent colors of the throat and crown are due to refraction and not pigments. Often, these areas appear dark, almost black. But from the proper angle, the iridescent colors seem to glow from within. Every aspect of these remarkable birds testifies to the Creator's gracious provision. Would we say that the hummingbird has been especially favored by the all-loving Creator? No, this genuine love is extended upon every creature. If we carefully study any creature, the Lord's glory will always beam forth. An estimated 18,000 butterfly species adorn our planet. The beautiful coloration of butterfly wings is created by millions of minute scales. These precision scales function as biophotonic crystals, reflecting specific wavelengths of light to produce these brilliant colors. The extraordinary patterns and pleasing colors reveal a wise and caring designer. One of the amazing things I find about the butterfly is its beautiful iridescence. Take, for example, the morpho butterfly. Morpho butterflies have a beautiful blue type iridescence. But then when biologists many decades ago began to look at the scales of the butterfly, they didn't find any pigmentation cells. They found instead biophotonic structures. They found structures that are designed by the creator to absorb certain wavelengths of white light and reflect back to the viewer only that wavelength of light within the spectrum of a bluish purple color. We have found that using electron microscope, there are structures there that can have no more variation than 0.00004 millimeters, a wonderful testament to God's design. 